Hey guys, it's Anna. Bienvenido otra vez a mi canal. If you're new here though, what is up? Today I'm sitting here again on the floor. Just got back from the store, did a little bit of after holiday shopping, literally just got back right now and I just decided to sit down and just film this literally right now because I gotta take it out of the bags anyways and start organizing it to put away. So I was like, let me just share with you guys the stuff that I picked up. We went to a few different stores today and I tried to be like as fast as possible because I didn't wanna be out for too long. We went to, I, my head's like all over the place already cause I kind of low key have a headache, but I'm trying to ignore it. So, cause I'm really excited about everything that I picked up yet again. So today we went to Burlington, Target and Marshall slash Home Goods. So pretty cool. Before we get on into the haul though, if you guys haven't yet, I hope you subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell notification so YouTube can let you know whenever I do post new videos. I'm trying to get them out for you guys every Sunday. The holidays being over, I can put more time and energy into my videos again, which is great. I really need to get myself together at least for once in my vida and just like focus on my YouTube, my Instagram and all that stuff. So I'm trying, it's a new year, right? We're gonna try this out. I need to redo my nails or touch them up, fill them, so. They're looking crusty, but it's okay. Also, I have my ginger ale here. But let's get into this haul. If you don't know me, drinking soda hurts me a little bit, but I have like an upset stomach, so <laughs> I'm drinking that. All right, so I'm going to start with the stuff that I got from Burlington because I'm excited about what I found there. Burlington. Or here's this side. This is a huge bag. Burlington. Like nicer bags. Reusable because that's in the content. Literally, we went to Burlington only because we were waiting for Marshall slash Home Goods to open. And we found some really good stuff. So first thing I found actually in the line on the way to check out, and I've seen these there before, just I never really picked them up until today because usually people talk me out of it. Why did I get one that has a hole in it? But it's just a bag of lollipops. It's the Jovi brand Pika Slice Chili Covered Lollipops. Cubierta con chili, chile. Watermelon sabor sandia. So they're just lollipops with like chili, chili powder on top of it but it was three dollars and 49 cents they had this one and they had the usual what is it not peach mango mango with all the chili on it too but i like the watermelon but these are good I just had to get those if i wasn't going to get it from there i was eventually probably going to get them from amazon because that's actually something that i got for a self gift for christmas this year it is i got my pelon pelo ricos my candy and the tamarind candy. The more stuff that we found like on the way to check out, these are not mine, but I'm gonna show them because they're kind of cute actually. Um, they're just Marvel like colognes. So I guess the only one he wanted to get was Spider-Man. These were $9.99. They said comparable value was $21 from, what's it called? Um, Burlington, Captain America, oh, the toilet. I don't even know like what brand these actually are. It just says Marvel, but again, this one's $9.99. So this comparable value is $21. Yeah, $21. Which they're also different sizes, but not. They're just, I guess, different shape bottles, maybe. 100 mil, 100 mil. So I'm interested to see what these look like. I wish I could open them right now, but I will get yelled at. So I'm gonna refrain from opening those. But the ones that I did get for myself. Anytime I find Derek Lamb 10 Crosby perfumes, you guys know I'm all about it. So I found two and they were on clearance at Burlington, which is amazing. So I got a float and this one was only $12.99. $12.99, which is insane. I looked up some of the fragrances from Sephora and it they only have one of the scents at Sephora still, and it was still like $40 or something like that. So $12.99 is a steal. I think I have maybe one or two of these, but now I've got three. So here's this one in a float. But then I also got this one in the fragrance Hi-Fi, which for some reason I'm feeling like I might already have this one, 
but get this this one was only 10.99 so i guess this one before was 16.99 but it says comparable value is 32 dollars underneath there but so i paid the 10.99 for this one i want to see what color this one is purple super pretty and these ones are just nice because they're like magnetic love highly suggest if you can find these especially for this price get them oh my gosh that reminds me i actually have stuff from a while ago from tj maxx that i got too so i'm gonna throw that stuff in with this i found it easily see and it's from marshall still just from a different day but i'm gonna finish the stuff from burlington first so i also picked this up just because it was a really good price i don't even know if this is gonna fit me or not but i'm gonna wear it i guess more like a bodysuit um obviously with like stuff underneath it so it's not as crazy but the crazy thing about this in general was that this was only $6.99 $6.99 but it even has this Calvin Klein Calvin Klein bodysuit wait that's a joke I thought this said $18 wait I really thought this said $18 Calvin Klein black bodysuit that's I thought that said 18 that definitely says a hundred and eight dollars that I got from Burlington for seven I didn't I really thought it said 18 I think someone marked it wrong because like that's not even a clearance tag huh wait SIA day and it says comparable value, $14. Someone thought that said 18 also. Okay. Well, there we go. That was like the find of the day price-wise. But the first thing that I saw when I ran to the store today was these boots. And I'm in love. You guys know that like I'm a sucker for a good boot. Like, look at this. And like when I grabbed them and I looked at the price first off, I was like, oh my God. I was literally like, oh my God. $25.99 for Mark Fisher brand boots. But I got scared because I saw that they were a seven. They fit me perfect. They fit perfect. I wish I could see the style of these. It just says black croc. M-F-L-A Lena. Style 30528. I don't know. Twenty five ninety nine. Sorry, I'm burping for my soda. Oh, it's not gonna. <gasps> These are originally forty nine dollars from there, and they're half off. Wow, half off Mark Fisher boots, and they're like knee high. Like they're like high boots. Is that a joke? from Burlington and like look at the toe they've got like a nice pointed toe a little bit of a heel not too bad but they're gorgeous I want to show you guys what I got from Target I don't know why just because that's like the order of the stores that we went to <laughs> from Target I had to hit up Starbucks first but of course Starbucks coffee I don't know why it's like they wait until the new year to put their Christmas stuff on clearance like it's really weird whenever I'm like out like this happens every year without fail basically and I'm like let's go to Starbucks and see what cups they have left on clearance let's see what coffee they have left on clearance it's never clearanced out yet but if you can hear someone talking it's because I'm not here by myself and a lot of times in this room especially, it's like you can hear people in the other room talking about this. So, that's why. So, I actually grabbed some coffee. Every year, I have to get the Christmas blend for my Madre. And these were not on sale, so I paid full price for them. But they're whole bean, which is what she likes. So, the Madre gets what she wants, you know. You, you sacrifice the price for her. So, I just picked up two bags the madre whole bean even though it wasn't on christmas clearance 
annoying, but whatever. So from the holiday clearance stuff at Target, I should really try to find, let me try to find my receipt because some of the prices were a bit of much goodness. Let me see, because this pillow, the pillow, when I rung up the pillow, when I scanned it in a price checker, it rung up as $0. It was literally free. Um, but it was the first thing we scanned when we went to self-checkout and immediately we got a red light like we needed help. So she had to help us with this one. So let me see what she put this in as. $1.50. Ah, see, it says regular price even on this receipt. It rings up as $0, okay? Pillows. Okay. And it underneath it says somewhere zero zero. Price regular price zero zero, but some kind of way she pulled it up as a dollar fifty. I got two. Almost didn't get two. I had to go back and grab another one, which I scanned when I scanned it and I saw that it was zero dollars. I was like, I need the other one. Because <laughs> I thought it was gonna be free. <laughs> Decorative pillow, one count faux fur. Oh, it says on here though they were originally five dollars. I think from the bullseye section. But how cute is that? Like a star shirling pillow. So I got dopes because these are super cute. But I will probably keep these as just being Christmas decor because if I keep these out all year, they'll be so dirty. Well, I'll mention these because they're kind of in the way sitting right here. I got these. It's two separate ones, but I will separate ones, but I might actually do that trick where you like stick it together and make it like extra full but I don't know. Um, I already have two of these silver tinsel trees, but they're like the slim trees. And I have a six foot one and I think I have a four foot one. So now I have these two little ones. So I have like a little tinsel tree forest. So these ones said they were originally $10 from Wonder Shop at Target tinsel tree 24 inches. $10, 70% off. So I got these for each only three dollars I kind of don't like that the base doesn't come off but that's just for storage purposes and then this we're gonna have to maneuver these because they're acting like they want to stay like this that's gonna be hard to store like I was actually kind of shocked that there was still a good amount of Christmas stuff out in general at these stores that we went to but especially at Target like I saw people posting the Target Christmas clearance on Instagram and their stuff was full and that was like five days ago. So I was like, there's no way, but I found some stuff luckily. I picked this up mainly because of the price and because I remembered that sometimes I put my cat in stuff like this, but I think this is too big for her. What, wait, what is this? Ugly stuff supply. Person and pet holiday set. Person. One size fits most, and the pet is a medium. What is this actually? Okay, I think the long one is the hat for the person, and then this is the part for the animal, but 450 for a hat and a little pet outfit. These I didn't find, someone else found these. Hershey's Kisses, milk chocolate, they're cute. Got some little Christmassy dog food just because it was there. How much was that actually? The Hershey's thing was only 30 cents. These were only $2.19. I think we got two of those. Yeah, here's the other one. $2.19. There's a few of these grabbed because they were only 30 cents. Some Christmas cards. These are actually still kind of pricey, I feel like. Wishing you a perfect Christmas but it's just a set of cards. I don't even know how much these were. Oh yeah, $4.99. And there's only how many in here? 10? Okay. I got this because I wanted some Christmas sprinkles for my coffee. Um, so I just decided to pick this one up. Oh, $2.09 for this, $2. But it's got icing in it. it includes decorating candies, Green, red, and yellow icing tubes. I just like the little jars. But I mainly got this stuff for my coffee and my drinks. And I'll use that like now. That's not going to be saved for next year because there's no point in that. Managed to find some pajamas from Target. 
So I got these last second. I didn't even realize what these were until I picked it up when I was like running. So these are the Mix and Match Family Sleep Women's Pants in Extra Large. And they were originally $10, but they're wrapped up just like a little, I didn't know what this was. I thought it was like a scarf or something. This ended up being $3 since they were 70% off. Ah, just regular pants. They're kind of thin, but they're cute. Nice. And then I found some clothes, okay? So this is the women's two-piece family sleep set. I got it in a size large, and I only found one of each of these things, so and I just grabbed it. $25 for this one. I paid $7 for it. So there's new pajamas, and those are very, like, wintry. These are the men's in a large two-piece. I'll probably just keep all those. <laughs> I think that was it from Target. We got a few things of wrapping paper from Target. I think like two things of wrapping paper. That was it. Now, on to Marshalls, Home Goods. I'm gonna show you guys first the stuff that I got a little bit of. A, a while ago a little while ago um makeups there's a good handful of stuff in here i honestly forgot what i got so i got the maddie Ziegler 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 morphe palette so it's just the artistry palette this one how much should i pay for this one 14.99 at marshall's it's a pretty palette which i don't always pick up the morphe palettes but this one was just too nice to pass up. So I'm going to try to miss the mirror. Like, it's super pretty. It's got a good range of colors in there. All right, I only got one thing from Urban Decay. So it's just this little one. The soundtrack. Oh, oh, or is it 2000s? Eyeshadow palette. Okay. This one was $10.99. It was Urban Decay. It was only $10. It's small and it was in good condition. So I was like, let's just get it. It's cute. Is there a mirror in there? There is a mirror. And then it's just a pretty little palette. Urban Decay. Probably shouldn't have been in the store by that time. I got another one of my Lipstick Queen lipsticks. $5.99 from Marshalls. You guys already know. This is like a staple in my entire Vita, so I had to get it. One thing from Josie Marin, because it was on clearance. Do you see that? $3 for Josie Marin. So this is the Vibrancy Argan Oil Foundation Fluid in Magical. And weirdly, I mean, it does look a little dark. It does look a little dark. But it could be something maybe that I mix in. Ooh. Wait, is this supposed to have a pump? It has a pump. Wow. Josie Marin. This is my first piece of Josie Marin makeup for $3. $3 from Marshalls. It looks like it was marked down a few times. So Exciting. Got a handful of Marc Jacobs the other day. So the first thing that I got was this Marc Jacobs Youth Quake. Hydra Full Retexturizing Gel Cream. I think I mainly got it just because it was a pretty good price for Marc Jacobs, $6.99. Um, you guys know I'm a sucker for Marc Jacobs stuff, so it's just a little cream. We will see how it goes. I should probably test this out, though, and see if I do like it in case I see it again. Because you guys know Marc Jacobs Beauty is not a thing anymore, right? Right, right, right. I got some more of these little eyeshadows. I think I might actually already have this pink one, but I wasn't really mad at it. Um, so the first one is in rose, 630 rose, but these were $6.99 for Marc Jacobs. It's their Omega Shadow Gel Powder Eyeshadow. And again, I mainly got it because it's Marc Jacobs. It's a pretty color. The little compact is nice. Like, And it's got a mirror in there. And then you get your color. This is a really nice color if you want to use it as an eyeshadow or blush. Works for that. This other one 
is 620 violet this one though i'm pretty sure i didn't have so 6.99 but same wow i didn't realize you can see the whole mess of my life in this um got a mirror there a little protector and a gorgeous violet again would be really nice to use that one as a blush or an eyeshadow can't be mad at those seven dollars for Marc Jacobs okay and then I found some Becca Cosmetics you guys know what I've been saying about Becca Cosmetics since they're going out of business I just grab everything that I can find so this is the gradient sunlit bronzer from Becca Cosmetics this one is or I got it for $12.99 this one's in the color sunset waves so I think they have a few different ones of these so hopefully I don't have this one already I don't think I do but yeah I don't think I have this one why does it look like it's crushing it's breaking a little bit how pretty is that I don't have this one yet because I don't remember seeing anything like that very pretty but for a bronzer this is like straight shimmer then I think both of these are highlights. So this is the Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed. Again, $12.99 from Marshalls. Look at how pretty this box is because this one is in the color Lilac Geode. Lilac Geode. They look like they're really like falling out. no like you might not be able to tell here but like around the edge kind of looks like it's falling out wow oh and of course it's not going to catch the light right oh so pretty gorgeous then the last one is super pretty um it is the becca pearl glow luster glow powder in the color pure pearl 12.99 again from marshall's that's the iridescence of this container you know i love pretty but how nice is this container and i'm glad that i'm looking at this again because i've definitely seen these in stores since I picked this one up and honestly forgot I got this one but I'm glad that I'm seeing it again and going through this stuff because if there's other colors of this I need to know that wow because I feel like there is wow but this isn't like a, um, a highlight it's a setting powder right luster glow powder wow very pretty last thing that i had gotten from marshall's the other day the Derek lamb 10 crosby so it's one of these little guys and i got it on clearance for only seven dollars eau de parfum 10 milliliter this one is the a hold on me a hold on me is just in this little tube wow but how vibey is that it's very summery sunshiny wait it's got a spray right wow for only seven dollars a full travel spray bottle honestly ulta and sephora could never because their usual like travel size perfumes are like twenty dollars twenty four twenty five dollars all right so for the exciting stuff that we got today the holiday clearance stuff that i got today i'm gonna have to pause this this will be a long video i'm sorry all right, so I just had to pull the bags closer to me. One bag is like super heavy for no reason, but very excited about the stuff that I got from Marshalls today. Very first thing is this set of pillows that I almost didn't see. Ray Dunn holiday pillows. So it's a set of two that I got on clearance, as you can see. So from Marshalls, I got these for $12. They were originally the 25 because it's two pillows. So one says happy and then the other one says holidays so it's two pillows and they're like pretty hefty chunky pillows for only twelve dollars for the two so not mad at that almost didn't see these because of where they were sitting on top of the table of all the markdown stuff but you guys know anything ray done like 
need it. Got a handful of Ray Dunn stuff today, so I'm excited about it. Next thing, Ray Dunn, was something that I saw that I that I saw at the store before the holidays, before Christmas, and I just could not justify the price of these, honestly. But I love them because it's the colored clay from Ray Dunn. But so they didn't mark this one down yet. And so then when I asked, I had someone ask for me and they were like, oh no, then that's the price. And I was like, no, that's not the price. So I took it to the cash register with us and they gave it to us for 50% off like it was supposed to be because all the Christmas stuff was 50% off. I was like, yo, we got it on the same table. So don't let the workers tell you that it's not marked down. If it's Christmas and it's together with all of the other Christmas stuff, it was moved together because it's on clearance because it's Christmas. It's marked down the price. Okay. I was like, are you new here? They're like, yeah. <laughs> but so I got this for $10. And what even comes with this? Milk chocolate drizzled caramel popcorn from Ghirardelli in the back and then you get your santa mug and reindeer snacks plate from ray dunn and you get chocolate premium hot chocolate double chocolate and a little chocolate bar that someone tried to tell me was not clearanced out and then i almost they put it back and i was like no 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 you take it up to the register you're obviously new here like are you new some more clearance. I almost didn't get this, but it fits the vibe of like the other like tree topper that I do have. And with all the silver tinsel trees, I just thought this would be cute to add on there also. And then for the price, it was literally only $6. $6 for this holiday tree topper. Not, I don't like it as much as the one that I already have, but like I said, it fits the same vibe. Like it's the same style, like literally exact same style. So more redone from the holiday markdown. So I actually got two of these just because they're redone and I figured it'd be a cuter little set. But so they're just like the flameless candles. So you get two candles in each. One says naughty, one says nice. Just Ray Dunn, and then these were marked down for five dollars. Yeah, five dollars for Ray Dunn flameless candles. I'll take. Oh, look what else I found. Which I was sad I only found one bag, but at least I found one bag. So it is just some more Starbucks coffee. This is the holiday blend. Um, this one was $3 from the little home goods section. So that's going to go to the Madre. I'm trying to keep all of the Christmas holiday stuff together. We got this, which I actually needed because I have a ton of ornaments that were in like a plastic little container from like Walmart last year or two years ago. And that ripped. So I needed something to put them in. So I got this one marked down, which is not bad. I prefer containers, especially for stuff that's like fragile like this, but at least it'll be in something when I take it off of the tree. At least it'll be in something. So I got this for only $6, $12.99 was the original price. Got it half off. And we got a handful of candles. So here's this one. I don't know what was so special about this one someone else picked out the majority of the candles today so I don't know but this one was only four dollars it's literally just a like painted one like I said someone else picked out some of these candles the majority of these candles were picked out by someone else so here's this one holiday citrus 34th and pine all right this one smells good this is a good candle um, this one is $7. God, how much was this one before? 14 And you guys know I can't describe the scents very good, so we won't try. Here's some of my Ray Dunn stuff. This one isn't really a holiday, but it was Ray Dunn, 
marked down. It's not the color, it is the colored clay. So this one's cute. It's got like little pine forest and it was only $5, but it matches nicely with another one if this is it. I thought it matched nicely with this one that just says campfire. It's a little bit larger. So it's the $6. Mmm, log of fire scented. What is this one? Forest walk. Yeah. So I just thought this would be cute. Forest. Yeah, kind of cute. Some more Christmas and then there's some more Christmas candles down at the bottom of there and something that might be broken now. So, but this sweater is super cute. It's Reptar, a Reptar Christmas sweater. Like, are you kidding me? And then I got this one on clearance. They tried to sell it for 25. I got it for $13, so that's cute. Speaking of Reptar, there was a set of playing cards that were added to the cart that are Nickelodeon and they were only two dollars so I didn't really complain about that all right so our candles oh this is a mug okay six dollars for Eagles mug this is cute oh small batch candle this is a nice little container. What does it say? Cheerful tidings. This one was on sale for $5. Mm, it's okay. But I like the container that it's in. Definitely gonna be nice to reuse. Oh, this is my little Ray Dunn canister. That also I almost didn't see. And it's kind of random, but it just says cookies. Wow. I got it because it's the colored clay. I had to. It just says cookies. $6. This one probably was not supposed to be Christmas, was it? I don't know. And then I only got two things of makeup today. This one's probably broken. I honestly got this because... In my other haul that I literally posted the other day that I got a while ago, now, I bought myself this eyeshadow palette from Mark, Mark Jacobs. It's the fine grind, but mine was broken and it didn't close all the way. So I found this one on sale for $16, so I saved $4 on it. But we all know these are originally $50. Ow. Eyeshadow palettes from Marc Jacobs. And I had to check this one in the store and this one wasn't broken. At least it wasn't when I bought it. Ooh, okay. Because on mine, this little thing right here is broken off of it. So when you close it, it doesn't stay clasped closed. Like it, it falls open. And that I just couldn't have. So I found this one. It's not broken. And I guess my mantra or someone is going to get the other one because I just can't have that happening. The last thing from Marc Jacobs is this guy that I had to open to check. It is the Omega-3 Powder Blush Bronze Highlight Palette. So this one was $19.99. You guys know I hate it, but it's Marc Jacobs. Um, all right, it's okay. <laughs> but I had to get it because I didn't think that I had it yet. And I'm pretty sure that I do not. But how nice is this? You guys know the white packaging just really gets me from Marc Jacobs. You get the huge mirror there. And then you get your three. It's the same exact um, product <laughs> as the one that's in like the one that matches that fine grind eyeshadow packaging. The like caramel -y one. Or the black one. I'm pretty sure it's in black too. It's just that this is white. So I had to have it. So that is everything for this haul of stuff that I picked up for the after Christmas clearance. I'm glad that I waited to go till now. Mainly because if I had found a ton of more stuff, I would have spent so much more. So this was me attempting to save money by going later. To not find as much. Okay cool so yeah that's everything that i got for this haul 
Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. Let me know if you guys found any of these items also. Or if maybe there's anything that you think that I should be on the hunt for from any of these stores. You guys know that I love hearing from you. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you are subscribed and hit the little bell notification so that YouTube can alert you when I do post new videos. And that is it for this video because it's already super long. So muchísimas gracias for watching este video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.